Welcome, friends. I'm Brittany Timberlake, and it's so wonderful that you're here to join me for your yin practice. Today, I am practicing in the lovely studio here in Quispamsis, New Brunswick, at Amana. And I'm going to put a link below if you are ever in the area and you would like to come join us for a practice. We'll put a link to their website. This practice is going to get into all parts of the body. So for props, if you have two blocks and a blanket, that would be really nice. And if you have a bolster, that's cool too. We'll get into some supported fish at the end. So either using the bolster or the blocks. We are going to get started laying down on our backs and we'll bring our two blocks with us. So laying down, wiggling around, we'll bring the soles of the feet together, letting the knees fall out, and we'll slide those blocks underneath the knees. We don't want this to be aggressive in any way. Just want a gentle sensation, gentle opening through the thighs, inner thighs. We'll take our hands out, palms facing up, Closing the eyes, letting the skull feel so heavy, resting on the mat. And the shoulder blades are resting heavy and soft. And that softness spreads down through the lower back. The heaviness of the hips resting supported by the floor beneath you. And the legs are Resting, supported by the blocks. And as the mind and the body and the breath all begin to settle, We'll just take a moment to commit to the next little while of stillness and quiet. Letting go of the constant urge of going and doing and accomplishing. And just allowing ourselves to be. breath just to become a little bit longer and deeper feeling the rise and the fall of the belly And then we'll gently reach the hands down towards the legs, just helping the legs and knees come together. 
And we'll hug the knees in, just rocking gently side to side. You can open the eyes if they're closed. And then we'll roll over onto one side. Top hand gently presses our way up. And we'll just move the blocks over, just out of the way for now. And if you have a blanket, we'll come to sit on that blanket and get a little elevation for the hips. We're gonna move into a seated butterfly. We'll bring the soles of the feet together again. If you would like the blocks underneath the knees, that's a great option. We'll take a big inhale, sitting up tall through the spine. And then on the exhale, starting to hinge forward at the hips. And just taking a couple breaths to find your edge. So that spot where you feel sensation, but it's not aggressive, there's no pain. You could let the chin round in towards the chest if that's okay for your neck. You might even like to have a block underneath the forehead. And there's no gripping or pulling with the hands. So we're targeting the inner thighs. Targeting the lower back and all the way up through the spine. In yin yoga, we hang out in these passive shapes for three to five or more minutes. And not only are we looking to find softness and ease through the body, but also a sense of softness and ease in the mind and in the thoughts. Sitting back and becoming the observer of the patterns of our thoughts. We'll slowly start to bring the weight into the hands so we can gently roll up through the spine. 
Letting the head land over the shoulders, over the pelvis. And then just letting the right ear fall towards the right shoulder. Getting into the left side of the neck. Chin starts to fall in towards the chest, rolling through, letting the left ear come towards the left shoulder. And then we'll bring the head back to center. Hands help the knees close. And sitting back onto the hands. And just letting the knees fall side to side. We're going to come into dragonfly or wide legged forward fold. If the backs of your heels get really sensitive, you might like to come sideways on your mat so you can rest the, the heels on the support of the mat. So finding a position with the legs that again isn't too aggressive, doesn't need to be as wide as you can go. If the backs of your knees get uncomfortable, you could have blocks under the knees or blankets, you could even make fists. And we'll start to hinge forward at the hips. If you have blocks, you could let the forehead rest on stacked blocks. You could simply just let the spine round, chin towards the chest as we did in butterfly. We're just looking for mild sensations through the backs of the legs, not going as deep as you can. The body will tell you if you've gone too deep because it'll start to get tense, tight. So if we start by backing off a little bit, and then as we hang out here for some time, the body will eventually let you know when it's okay to go a little bit deeper. And if you're new to yin, you might be like, this is kind of weird. I feel kind of lazy. What, if, what am I actually doing here? Well, it can take a lot of courage and willpower to take the time to explore your own internal environment. For a lot of us, it can be really scary to get quiet and observe what's going on in the mind.
And over the next few breaths, taking our time to release, coming all the way up, pausing for a moment at the top, sitting with a tall spine, And then we'll take one hand, let that hand help one knee bend, and then the other. Weight comes back onto the hands, letting the knees fall side to side. And to counter all of these forward folds, we're going to come into a back bend, we'll come into Sphinx. So coming down onto our bellies. I'm going to bring the elbows right underneath the shoulders, letting the, the bones stack, reducing some of the muscular effort to help keep us up. And we'll close our eyes. We'll start to scan through the body, starting at the toes. Relaxing your toes. Relaxing your feet. Relaxing all the way up through the calves, knees, thighs, hamstrings. The glutes are especially soft. If at any point this becomes too much for your lower back, know you're always welcome to come down just to lay on your belly. Your forehead resting on stacked hands. That's still a back bend. Relaxing through your face and your jaw. Continually tuning into the breath. The breath connecting the mind and the body, connecting us to the present moment.
next exhale, we'll slowly let the chest come forward and down the elbows, winging out to the sides. Just letting yourself rest, forehead making contact with the floor or the palms. Taking notice of the sensation in the lower back. Not labeling it as good or bad, just taking notice. Take our hands to the outsides of the ribs, pressing up and back into a child's pose. You can take this with your knees together or knees wide apart. You can choose, just letting the hips sink back and down towards the heels. Forehead coming to rest on a block or the mat. Passive arms. Allowing the breath to travel all the way down into the lower back. Come all the way up onto all fours. You just take a moment to let the hips sway side to side. You might like to take a little cat cow. You can press out through one heel, then the other, just stretching out through the legs, the knees. We're going to come into sleeping swan. If you have sensitive knees or anything you're nursing with the knees today, you could come onto your back and do a figure four. Otherwise, we'll take the right knee in towards the right wrist and just walking the left leg back. Allowing the torso to come forward. You could rest on forearms, or if you do have a bolster, you could make this really passive by allowing the torso to come down on to that support.
Take our time to slowly release from here. You could tuck your back toe and come into a downward dog, or you might like to just come back onto all fours, letting the hips sway side to side. If you're on your back in figure four, just hugging the knees in, letting the knees sway. into this big hip opener on the other side. Figure four or sleeping swan. The left knee comes in towards the left wrist. Taking a moment to set up any props that you might like underneath the left hip. Coming all the way down onto forearms or a bolster.
Let's release from this side, making any movements that you would like, moving so slow and gently. We're going to make our way down onto our backs. We're going to come into supported fish. So if you have some blocks at home, we'll grab those. And all we do with the blocks, we take one and place it at the back of the mat for the head. And then one a little bit further down that goes to the upper mid-back, basically around the thoracic spine. And it creates like a T-shape, yeah. So you would just come to lay right over the blocks. You have to kind of wiggle around a little bit, finding that sweet spot. And the arms just come to a T, your legs out long on the floor. And if you have a bolster, we'll take that bolster to the back of the mat. We'll wiggle the lower back all the way to the base of the bolster. And then we'll come to lay all the way down. So whether you're in supported fish with the blocks or the bolster, I'm closing the eyes and again tuning, tuning into how the body's feeling and how the mind is feeling. And we're opening through the chest. Creating another back bend through the spine. Feeling the rise and the fall of the belly. yourself to relax a little bit more. Allowing the blocks or the bolster to fully support you so you don't have to hold yourself up.
inhales and exhales to become a little bit longer. And we'll reach up overhead through your fingers, your toes, and we'll just roll onto one side. And with your top hand, we'll just roll either the bolster away from the mat or moving your blocks to the side and then rolling back onto our mats. We'll draw the knees in towards the chest. Just give yourself a little hug, a little squeeze. And then we'll just take a couple lazy twists from side to side. You might linger on one side longer than the other. Take the arms out into a cactus or a T. Just releasing any residual tension through the spine. And then when you're ready, we'll come into our final resting corpse pose. Let the legs splay out and the arms take up lots of space. start to wiggle our fingers, our toes, rolling up through the wrists and the ankles, and letting your head just rock side to side. And we'll bend our knees, and then again rolling onto one side. Just landing in a fetal position, just for a few breaths. And then we'll press our way all the way up. Wow. 
and coming to a comfortable seat. We'll sit with a tall spine. We'll bring our hands together at our heart. And we'll just bow to one another. Feeling a little gratitude for taking this time to dive deep into our own internal worlds. Finding that sense of calm. And we'll bring our, oh, we'll bring our hands to the forehead, bowing. Namaste. And if you're ever in Quispamsis, New Brunswick, please come join us at the wonderful Amana Studios. It's a great community of yogis. Take care. <laughs>